Hello friends, hope you all doing good. Welcome back to another episode of How to Hack Ethical Web Series. We frequently discuss various applications and how they might be used to look for system vulnerabilities in our channel. However, in order to do the job, hackers require specific hardware in addition to software programs. In this video, we are going to cover top 10 gadgets and hardware devices used by an ethical hacker. Let's start with a warning as usual. Warning, this video is only intended for educational purposes. To make it more ethical, we just only talk about the hardware devices publicly available in shopping sites like Amazon, eBay etc. Using these devices on our own for educational purpose isn't crime, but using these devices against others without proper permission is illegal. So use these devices responsibly. We will not be responsible for talking and selling these kind of product. Also, this is video is not intending to promote the use any of these gadgets. It is not a promotion video. Let's begin. 1. Raspberry Pi 4. First and the best gadget. Raspberry Pi is dominating the market of single board computers, SPC. Nearly all security personnel use this equipment. This is incredibly helpful because we can install the whole Kali Linux operating system on this tiny PC. Numerous more projects can also make use of the Raspberry Pi. Security professionals employ it in a variety of ways. In Mr. Robot Season 1 Episode 5, we can witness how Elliot broke into the climate control system and wiped off magnetic cassettes. This device is a must-have for an ethical hacker. It supports countless applications, pretty compact and easy to use anywhere. 2. USB Rubber Ducky Hack 5 designed and developed USB Rubber Ducky The human interface device, HID, was created because nearly all computing devices accept human input from keyboards. Computers immediately recognize and accept keyboards when they identify them as hit devices. The USB rubber ducky fools humans by appearing to be an ordinary USB device and uses the target computer's natural confidence to deliver strong hacking payloads in seconds. Simply explained, if we plug it into a computer, the machine will think it as a keyboard and inject, type, save, and execute our pre-programmed payload. For this gadget, there are numerous payload options available. Additionally, writing our own code is simple. One of the easiest ways to compromise a system with physical access is through this. 3. Wi-Fi Pineapple The initial Wi-Fi attack tool created by Hack5 is the Wi-Fi Pineapple. There are three different models available. Although they are all excellent, we have chosen the Mark 7 model because of its price. This will automate Wi-Fi network auditing and save the findings. With its fantastic web-based interface, we can control it. This device is actually excellent for checking the security of wireless networks. Auditing Wi-Fi network for vulnerabilities and performing man-in-the-middle attacks are the key features. 4. Hack RF1, a software-defined radio, SDR, peripheral, the Hack RF1 can transmit or receive radio signals between 1 MHz and 6 GHz. Designed to allow testing and development of current and next radio technologies. Using this device, we can read and alter radio frequencies. It is an open-source hardware platform that can be configured as a standalone device or used as a USB peripheral. Comparing this SDR to other inexpensive options, one significant feature is provided. The radio frequency RF quality, however, falls short of expectations. 5. Ubertooth 1 The most well-known Bluetooth hacking tool we can locate on the market is called Ubertooth 1. It is a 2.4 GHz wireless development platform that is open source and appropriate for Bluetooth hacking. The Ubertooth was created to be an affordable alternative platform for monitoring and development of new BT, BLE, and related wireless technologies because commercial Bluetooth monitoring equipment may easily cost over $10,000.
Ubertooth One is primarily intended to be an advanced Bluetooth receiver, but it also has features that go beyond those of conventional adapters, enabling it to be used as a platform for sniffing and monitoring Bluetooth signals. Although signal broadcasting is supported by the device hardware, the firmware presently only allows reception and a limited number of advertising channel transmission functionalities. 6. Wi-Fi Deauthor Watch It is a deauthor, as the name implies, and it disconnected Wi-Fi users after the authenticating them. Not a jammer at all. For this, it employs an 8266 Spanish Pesetas Wi-Fi development board. The watch version of it here seems like a really great hacking accessory. A deauthentication attack is only feasible because of a flaw in the Wi-Fi 802.11 standard, in contrast to a jammer, which only generates noise on a certain frequency range, e.g., 2.4 GHz. The deauthor simply sends a few Wi-Fi packets that allow certain devices to disconnect without interfering with any frequencies. That makes it possible for hacker to pick each target carefully and perform targeted denial of service attack. A jammer simply blocks everything nearby, making its use extremely illegal. 7. USB Killer Since USB uses the computer's own power and is only capable of transmitting so much voltage, the computer doesn't check the current going through it. But what if we use this as an opportunity to burn our entire system? Repeating again, using this one on others is completely illegal. When plugged into a device, the USB killer rapidly charges its capacitors from the USB power lines. When the device is charged, 200 volts DC is discharged over the data lines of the host device. This charge and discharge cycle is repeated many times per second, until the USB killer is removed. As the result target device becomes burned and unrepairable. It is a crucial tool in every hacker toolbox because it's small in size and housing in the flash drive design. It can be used as many times as needed. 8. Hardware Keylogger Between a USB keyboard and a computer, a hardware keylogger can be inserted. It records every keystroke performed on the keyboard, making it a must-have gadget for any cybersecurity professional. It's a straightforward hardware keylogger. It can record and store keystrokes for a year time. We can later unplug it and connect it to our computer to read the keystrokes. There are keyloggers that have Wi-Fi and SMS control capabilities. It cannot be detected by any software. 9. RTL-SDR The RTL-2832U chipset is used in the extremely affordable software-defined radio RTL-SDR, which uses a DVB-T TV tuner dongle. It can intercept radio frequencies. Hackers can listen to other people's conversation. With this device's ability to receive frequencies from 500 kHz to 1.75 GHz, a hacker can listen in on communications from security services, ambulances, fire departments, and even air traffic control. Both SMS and GSM mobile calls can be intercepted by it. For professionals in cybersecurity it is highly helpful. Ten. Proxmark 3 NFC RFID card reader, last but not least. When you own a Promark 3, you are in possession of the strongest and most complete RFID or NFC testing instrument available in the frequencies of 125 kHz, 134 kHz, and 13.56 MHz. Most of the access control, public transportation, mobile payment and other systems uses these NFC and RFID cards. These devices can make read the data of RFID and NFC cards and then make a copy of it. We can write the new copies on blank cards provided with this package when we buy this device. If needed, anyone can buy more blank cards from the shopping site. Conclusion: These are the tools we may directly purchase from online retailers to aid us in our ethical hacking journey. There are a few additional devices that hackers utilize, but discussing them in this context would not be ethical. To be cautious, avoid approaching anyone you see in public who is carrying a laptop with these kinds of gadgets attached to it and try to keep all of your equipment as far away from the internet as you can. Thank you for watching. We publish videos every week, so to stay up to date and join our learning journey, please subscribe to our channel.